Hello everyone, thank you again for making it here. So today I'm going to be talking about Microsoft Teams Voice. So if you are supporting Microsoft Teams or you are an administrator, you will agree with me that the discussion or conversation conversations around Teams Voice is a big discussion. So today we will just look at Teams Voice in the light of trying to get phone numbers. Okay, so if you come to phone numbers then you are going to have the phone numbers that you've obtained already and then you if you don't have any phone number of course you won't have anything and if you be able to add phone numbers depends on the licenses that you have because of course that de depends on I mean determines a lot regarding the number or the amount of phone numbers you can have I mean the quantity of phone numbers that you can have so these phone numbers are here and then you have the provider here is Microsoft what it means is that these numbers are calling plan phone numbers okay so if you are not getting calling plans phone number perhaps you want to go for the option of operator connect and direct routing so that depends that means that's a talk for another day right we are just concentrating on getting phone numbers from Microsoft so these are Microsoft provided numbers if you come here the emergency address of those phone numbers are going to be showing up here and then if you scroll further where it's very important to me to explain to you is if this use this phone number is a user number or is a service number so if the number is user number you're going to see user user but if it is a service number so service numbers are numbers you use for auto attendance for call queues right so you have them showing as voice application so these are numbers that are assigned to services why these ones are numbers that are assigned to users good thing you can now convert service number to user number right but let us face what we are here for at this time let's see if we can assert me we can purchase phone number on this thing now because i can see there are quite a few here already but let's just try our luck and see if we still if our license in this tenant still covers up for we having you know phone number or more phone numbers assigned so i'm just going to hit on add so what happens is that it just tell me to give a name of my order i'm just going to call it phone number it doesn't really matter what i give it is just the name of my order c and then i come here and then i give this but i should be aware of what i am giving it right so now the next point is that uh, which country do i want to get number from us matter of fact this tenant is a uk tenant so i just want to do united kingdom and this is it so it will ask me which area do you want to do you want to get your phone numbers right now before then it will ask you what type of phone numbers you are looking for of course fortunately this is coming to this side to open maybe because i have an ex extended screen here but you have phone numbers i will explain this unfortunately it's by the right hand side right? just try to fix your eyes here so you have user number you have dedicated conference bridge that is for um audio conferencing then you have dedicated conference bridge you know for dedicated conference bridge you have the tool and then you have the toll free then for call queue also you have the tool and then you have the toll free then for auto attendance you have the tool and you have the toll free but note that for for call queues for you know auto attendance or for conference bridge numbers they are all service numbers so they are the ones you will see app i mean you know for application or i mean for voice applications right then for user which is what we are coming for at this point is user number the number you can assign to an enterprise enabled users so if you come here now it's saying that i still have 32 numbers that i can purchase now i still have 32 that i can purchase and look at this the remaining count is calculated from the current license volume minus previous acquired stock so you just have to be aware of that so if you put it here also it's just going to give you more information about where what you can read about what was just displayed to you here so for me i just want to get one phone number it's just okay it's just for a demo purpose so now it's saying um the city from which i want to get a number so it now depends so some cities i may not have phone numbers their provision for me but i can be lucky to quickly pick a city that i have phone number so ideally the city is coming in so that i will know the area code that i'm going to use right so that's why it is saying which city do you want to get phone number from let's see if we let's see if we get from here search term must contain this so 
I, I didn't take note of the emergency location so this is in the emergency address so let me just quickly check something if i'm going to get that if i don't what i will do is i will duplicate this tab right now so d d d d d can i quickly duplicate yes i can so that what i want to get is the emergency location that should be attributed to that phone number it's very important that i have that before i can even you know get to have <clears throat> the option to purchase the phone number so let me just quickly get that so where do i get the emergency location i will get the emergency location under location and then i will see it under emergency addresses so if this loads up now we see the emergency addresses attributed to this tenant so i have one that is phone i have one that is you know manchester and so on so maybe i will just come here to say okay that one that is titled manchester is just what i want to use so if i go to that as my emergency address and then i put this here so it's just for it to give me the area code of manchester as 161 so if i do this now what happens is that if phone number is available here for me if i do next then one thing i observe here is that you may have it slowed down you know or you may not have um, phone number here so let me just click on next and see what's happening so yeah it's good so what it's saying is that I'm going to obtain this phone number here and then um, there's a countdown <laughs> it's just saying it's finished added maybe I just clicked multiple times right unfortunately I have to still get another one now that we have what we we I want to follow it gradually so I just want to call this phone number so that we just use the same approach and then we just kind of put it here again and then okay we are going to do united kingdom and then then we are going to do user subscriber number no more explanations on that we've seen it already so it's asking how many i just want one again and then the city i want to use manchester right i want to use manchester so let it go down very quickly i'll just take this down to ma unfortunately there's no option to search through this box just like that manchester yeah this is it and then emergency address of course this is just the name given to the emergency address it doesn't necessarily mean that is there so this is telling me to select the area code and then when i do i will do next I hope you're not just going to be loading up the whole page for me again so i've clicked on next i will expect it to show me the phone number this is the phone number that i want to place order so what is here is is showing that is a countdown so now i would have to decide if i need this number or if i want this to count down and go back to the pool to go get me another one so this happens maybe when you're looking for block of numbers right so i'm just going to place order now so the reason i wanted us to come back here is because i want us to search for the phone number in the list of the phone numbers that we have available in this tenant so that's the one that we have purchased so this is saying that thank you purchase i mean phone number this is the name of the purchase order right has been placed the new number will appear in the list of the phone numbers as soon as they are available you will be able to i mean we will let you know if you if there are any issues so finish this number is actually there already so i'm just going to search through the phone number here this and then it should if i hit on search now then it should be out for me so how do i assign it to user i'm just going to do this and then i will come to edit and then i will try to search for the user and give to the user i want to give the phone number to but that's not covered in this scope but i w i hope you have been able to understand how to purchase your microsoft um, phone number from your admin center seamlessly thank you very much and enjoy the rest of your day peace out